Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa and this is Lisa Makes. Okay, so today, as promised, I have a whole bunch of free knitting patterns for spring. Who doesn't love a free pattern? I know that I have dozens and dozens of patterns that I have paid for willingly and happily, but occasionally it's nice to get something for free. So I'm going to take you through a whole bunch of free patterns and then link you up to where you can find them. First though, I wanna thank the sponsor of this video, Ana Luisa Jewelry. I've worked with them several times before, so you may remember seeing me wearing some of their pieces in other videos, but today I have some beautiful pieces that they sent me. I have a very delicate set of gold chains, also a bracelet with some beautiful pearls, and a pearl necklace that I haven't put today with my outfit, but that my daughter is absolutely dying to wear. She picked this one out. I also have these really cool hoop earrings that I absolutely love the style. I am someone who does not wear a ton of jewelry, and so that's why when I found Ana Luisa after being approached by many other jewelry companies, I decided to work with them because they have classic, clean pieces that I think stand the test of time. They are very high quality. I don't know how many times I've bought uh, a necklace for my girls or a bracelet and it's broken almost before they even got it home. But their stuff is all tested and it's all high quality metal. They make sure it doesn't tarnish. They make sure that it's not going to react against your skin. I have a very hard time wearing earrings even when they say hypo hypoallergenic and with the Ana Luisa earrings, I can wear them. So for me and for my kids, my 15 year old and my 17 year old, they are absolutely amazing. So maybe if you have a gift to buy for a teenager in your life or, or a 20 something, 30 something, or almost 50 something, you can definitely head over there. I'll put the link and the code below. Okay, so onto the free patterns. I'm really excited to show them to you. Here we go. So this first one is from Sandus Garn, and this is great because most of their patterns you have to buy physical copies, but these are free downloads they have on their website. And this bow ribbon top, I absolutely love that eyelet detail in there that gives the illusion of a ribbon. And I especially love that the pattern doesn't go down too far, down onto the chest, so you can be really comfortable wearing it even with a bra and not worrying that anything is gonna be seen through, having to choose the color, etc. You can see here, you've got the great pattern all set, and this is a PDF download. Next from one of my favorite favorite designer, Sari Norlin. We have the Elma t-shirt. This is from back when she was working for Novita. And I love the texture on this. I think it'd be great for maybe a slightly warmer climate. You can see here that the instructions are written right on the screen. So you don't even have to download anything, but if you wanted to, you can hit the print and then you can see that it's going to come out all with the charts in one nice form. Also from Novita, I love the texture on this top. I think this is so cute. The only thing about it is it is a seamed garment, the Ajatus. So it is a seamed garment. If you have a thing against seamed garments, then maybe it's not for you. But other than that, I really love the pattern and actually the color is really gorgeous as well. You can see all the sizing that you have here and all the instructions to preview the pattern. From Wool and the Gang, we have the Venus top pattern. This is really cool, very modern. I love that they're showing it in different colors. What a great way to use up maybe some leftovers that you have. It's also knit quite a thick gauge, which means you'd be able to knit it up really quick. Perfect for spring, I think, because you're gonna get a little extra warmth and that collar is just super cool. The Emmanuel T is by Johanna from Colibri, which, who is an amazing designer overall in Ravelry. This is a tee that she did for Hobby. And again, another tee where we have an eyelet detail that is still going to cover you enough that you're not gonna feel uncomfortable. Do you know what I mean? I really, really like that. This one I could definitely see making. It's for sure on my list. And again, it's just a straight download. As long as you're signed in, I believe to the site, you can download this. And then here we go. Here comes the PDF. You can save that or you can print it. All, all good. You can see there it's by Johanna. All the information, all in English, perfect. Next we have the Lucinda shirt by Kate Stutter. This is for the Schachenmeyer website and I thought this was really unique. It was quite different. I believe it's knit from uh, armhole to armhole so you're knitting it sideways. Again it has a really interesting eyelet detail and I love all that ribbing up around the neckline. I think it would make for a really cool fit. And again, you would just click over onto the Schaffenmeyer website for that one. From Sirdar, we have this really pretty sweater. What I imagine this is like spring, summer evenings. Again, you could just click through right on the website. You don't have to do anything. And I love that even though this is knit in pieces, so you do have to think about the seaming, the seaming is really a feature. It's really a detail in this that I think I would really enjoy. I love those long cuffs. I, th I think the color is very spring summery. And I think that this is something that you could really knit and say maybe a cotton linen blend or a cotton merino blend. 
really, really cute. Here are all the measurements, etc. You can get an idea if it might be for you. There again, you can see that detail. And that V-neck too, I think is really, really great. I love that they've changed the colors and the sizes as well. Here's another Santa's guard, the Taya sweater, worked in two strands of silk mohair, perfect for spring, so light and airy. Let's see if we can get a close up here on that detail. Yeah, it almost has like a checkerboard feature to it. And again, that lavender is so popular right now. Really, really cute. Here at the bottom, you can see a few other free patterns that you might want to have a check out. And yeah, there you go. Next, we have this fairy core mesh shrug, shrug pardon me, from Yarnspirations. And I just thought this was very cool. It's not really my style, but I think that if someone might see this and just go, oh my God, that's amazing. So that's why I wanted to include it. It's got that mesh that's very popular right now. It's knit in a bulky yarn, which means it's going to knit up super, super fast. It could be a cool little throw over when it's not quite warm enough to go out without a t-shirt. The ladylike blouse from Freya, this is from Self Made. And again, what a great pattern. Now this one, you would need to wear something obviously underneath, but I thought the boat neck, the gentle, gentle texture at the bottom, as well as the eyelet detail made it quite nice for spring. This is something that could be a nice transition piece. And we just download it like anything else. And you can see here, we're popping through the pattern, looking at the different abbreviations, etc. Yeah, I think this one's really, really cute. Okay, next, also from Sari Nordland on the Novita website is this really pretty, very delicate, but I think also very contemporary V-neck cardigan. And it's done in wool cotton blend. I think the, the texture of it is a nice combination between a very classic lace cardigan, but there's something about it that's a little bit graphic, I think. And I think that it's very on point for what we're seeing these days. I had to throw in a little bag or two, and this is again a knit bag, also from Novita. I often find that bags are mostly crocheted, and since I don't crochet nearly as fast as I knit, I always wanna find knit ones that I can use. It's also a great way for me to use up a whole bunch of yarn, and I think it's pretty straightforward. I love the way they tell you to cut a piece of cardboard to put in the bottom to give it more shape. I think sometimes that's often what's lacking. Okay, next we have an Italian spring shawlette from my friend Francesca from An Italian Knitter. If you've seen, she's done several of these shawls, one for each season, and this is the spring one. So it's just, it's light, it's teeny, it's perfect for leftovers of other projects, and you can just throw it around your neck or over your shoulders when you have just a little bit of chill in the air. I think this is the perfect little spring accessory. You can see already lots of people have made it. Here are some of her tester versions, and there's lots there going on. The dumpling bag. This is not a new pattern. This is quite an old pattern, but I love that they do it in linen, like pure linen. What a luxury. Um, I know that I have some linen left over that I don't have time. And again, this has, I think, almost 700 different projects. So it's very, very popular. DK weight. And I bet you, you could knit one up really, really fast. Okay, so those are really just a few of the free patterns I found. And if you want to follow below either my Ravelry or my Pinterest, I've put together boards that have a whole bunch of free patterns on them as well. So you can see more and I'll be adding to that as I go. So it makes sense to follow that Pinterest board and follow this channel to see more. If you love this video, please do give it a thumbs up and let me know below if I found a free pattern that you haven't seen before. Please give me a yes if I found something that you hadn't seen before because I consider it a challenge because I know that knitters, they know where to find the deal. So if I've managed to find a deal that you didn't find, I am very proud of myself. Don't forget to go check out Ana Luisa. Like I said, beautiful quality, reasonably priced, classic styles. It really is worth checking out. Link below. All right, guys, that's all for me. I hope that wherever you are, the sun is shining and you are knitting or sewing or doing whatever makes your crafty heart happy. And I'll talk to you soon.